Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go over, I have 20 palettes in front of me that I think would be perfect for the holiday season. When I say holiday season, I am thinking of Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, and also I'm adding in new gear. So this will take care of that holiday season if you've got parties to go to, events to go to, family get-togethers to go to, just anything where you want to get dressed up and celebrate. So I have these in no particular order. The only order I have them in is I have brands clamp clamped. <laughs> I have brands clumped together. So um, I'll be going through them by brand because I have a some of the brands I have, I have a couple of palettes uh, to show you. So to get started, I'm gonna start with a couple of little uh, Natasha Denona I have. I don't own a lot of Natasha Denona. I like Natasha Denona, but it's not like my favorite uh, eyeshadow brand. No hate here. There's no hate here about cosmetic brands. It's just, for my preference, I'm not a huge Natasha Denona fan, so that means there's more palettes out for you if you are. So anyway, I do have a I do have a few Natasha Denona, and I'm going to show you a what do they call this one? It's the um, it's not the mini, it's the five pan. This one is mine is the coral palette. There we go. But I'm thinking this looks very Christmassy to me or even New Year. I love this shade right here. Let's let's swatch some Christmassy looking shades. I've got those two. That shimmer is just gorgeous. Would look beautiful this time of year. So that's my first one I have to show you. So let me wipe that off my hand. Also from Natasha Denona, I do have a mini. And this, I think this is my favorite mini that I own. And this is the Mini Star Palette. And I just think it is so pretty. This gold. Look at this. Is that not just gorgeous? And there's a copper. I'm going to swatch the shimmers. If you don't know, I'm a shimmer gal. I love a good shimmer. So, there we go. Yeah. I think those would be so pretty. Those would look nice um, to go to a holiday party or even for New Year. I think that's pretty. There we go. Now, that's all the Natasha Denona. Let's go into, I'm not going to swatch everything because that would be a lot. Um, I have some single palettes that I don't have, I just have one of their brand in this. And that is my Wayne Goss and this is the uh, Imperial Topaz. Whoops. There we go. I think this would make a beautiful, neutral, smoky eye, uh, especially for New Year. That's what I was thinking when I chose this one. It is just so pretty. So that is Wayne Goss. I have an Ace Beauté, and this is uh, the Starlet Dusk. Scarlet Dusk. Starlet. And mainly because it's red tones. You think of reds at Christmas. So, yeah, the red tones. I think that's would make a good Christmas palette. Uh, I have one Anastasia Beverly Hills um, that I really think is perfect. That's the Sultry palette. When I see this palette, I've always thought from the moment I got this palette, it's the perfect New Year's, New Year's Eve palette. Look at those shades. It make a gorgeous, gorgeous eye look. There we go. Yeah. So, the Sultry palette. That's the fifth palette. Uh, next, let's see, I have a couple more, a few more single mentions, so we'll go into those. I have Jeffree Star Blood Sugar. This one, I think you would you would figure out it's because of the reds but there's also some golds in here this and this makes it beautiful I think a beautiful let's I'm gonna 
swatch the gold and I'm going to swatch the color blood sugar. There we go. Yep, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yep. So, there we go. Next, I have an Ofra palette. And this palette, the, the name of it just drew, you know, it just drew me in to add to this collection is the Glow Into Winter palette. And it does make me think of winter. Uh, these darker shades and the shimmers would look so pretty for New Year's or this time of year for an everyday going shopping look. I think would be this palette would be nice for that. So Glow Into Winter by Ofra. And let's see, I do have some more singles. I'll go down here. I have my two holiday palettes that actually were purchased during the holiday season. Um, so I am including them because they were made just for the holiday season. And one is my Pat McGrath. I think this is called uh, Celestial Odyssey. And I think all those shades are so pretty. So of course this is perfect for this time of year. It was made for this time of year. So I have that one and I have my Tarte. This is Winter Wonder Glam. It wins for best looking packaging. Look at those sequins. And I think these shades are stunning. Look at that. That screams holiday to me. That screams parties. Uh, going to events. Just it's just so beautiful. So that's the Winter Wonder Glam palette. Okay, now I have some palettes that I have several of. Let's start with my Urban Decay. First one is my Smoky. Urban Decay Smoky palette. Now that is definitely New Year's. You a nice smoky dark eye for New Year's, I think, is just gorgeous. And then also the Naked Honey palette. The gold, definitely. I love gold silvers at Christmas, and I think that would be perfect. Next, let's do uh, Nomad. My Nomad Royal Europe palette, I think, would make just gorgeous. Look at the shimmers. Do you see? Let me swatch some shimmers for you. I've got Imperial Crown, Royal Orb. I need to play with this some more. Look at the green in that. I'm going to have to use it here real soon. This is Blue de France, and it is, these are multi-chromes. Let me do these three. Look at those. Stunning, stunning. Look at those. If I can get them to shift for you. Okay, and then I've got two more shimmers here. I want to... St. Edward's Crown and Royal Treasure. Oh my gosh. Royal Treasure. Yep. Royal Treasure. Can you see? It's pinks, peaches, but it's also... I don't know if I can get it to... Here is the color. Let me see if I can get it to... Let's do it this way. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, I can't get it to... It's. If it was closer to the mirror. But it looks pink, but it also looks copper. Can you see it shifting all in there? It's just pink there. Well, it kind of looks pink there too, but I can't, I can't, it looks green. It's just green, green, green to pink. Yeah, I can't get it to show. Gorgeous. 
I'm going to have to do an eye look with these. Yep. And then also from Nomad, this is what I would technically call their, was there like their Halloween palette, Ghost Town. Ghost Town's good year round. Look at these colors. Look at these kind of grungy greens over here and these coppery golds. Perfect, perfect for the holiday. And silver. Silver and gold. Yeah, I think I'm going to be doing a lot more looks for the holidays here between now and Christmas if you guys don't mind I'm gonna play in this makeup and I'm gonna film it so you can enjoy it with me next uh, I've got Lunar Beauty of course I'm currently playing with my Siren Sunset this is what I have on today the greens I have on I have these right here gorgeous 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 and then, also from Lunar Beauty, my Eternal Eclipse palette. These have pretty icy blues in them. When I think of this time of year, uh, I do think of blues being cold. Even though it's not cold where I'm at, I'm wearing short sleeves and I have no heat on, which is great. But um, you do think of icy cold colors, and so that's why I chose this one. And it also has gold and silver in it as well. And then my last brand, I have several of, and that's Huda. Let's start with a little mini obsessions. Of course, emerald. Of course, emerald. We got to use that one. Huda. Uh, Huda, yeah. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> the reds. Of course, we got to use that. And then the smoky. This is for those New Year's looks, those smoky, smoky looks. There we go. And in the large palettes, I think of the Empowered palette. These golds and, and coppery colors and then the darker smoky shades. Perfect for New Year. And then the name of this one, Naughty, because are you on the naughty list or the nice list? And look, it's got those hints of red and the gold. I think it's perfect. Perfect for holiday. So that's my 20, 20 choices. Um, I love this time of year. I love doing the the really dramatic eye looks. And so, yeah, it was fun pulling out these palettes. Since I pulled them out and looked at them, I think I've got a lot more eye looks to bring to you between now and uh, Christmas, so be on the lookout. I'll be doing a lot more tutorials and playing with these eyeshadows. Is there anyone in particular you want to see next? And I will do that next. So just vote out of the 20 I just showed you. Uh, not the site, the uh, not sunset or siren sunset. I've done three looks now with that, so not that one. But any of the other 19 palettes I've shown you, if you would like for me to do a, a, a holiday look, please comment down below. Everybody, everybody who's watching this vote, which one do you want to see next? I will do that one next. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my algorithm. It really does. I'm getting new subscribers. I'm getting new people finding my channel. So please, thumbs up. Doesn't cost anything. If you're watching on TV, you can go up and hit a thumbs up. Uh, just hit that up arrow button. If you're watching on the computer, you know how to do it. Just hit that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. If you halfway enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Again, that doesn't cost anything. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not happy with my videos, if you just decide, you, you know, honey, I just can't stand listening to you, then you can go. I'm okay with that, but give me a shot. I would appreciate it if you just give me a chance. And questions, comments down below. I do answer them all. Sometimes it takes a few days. Life happens. Sometimes it takes a few days, but I do answer my comments. So guys, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.